Miss Anayansi, welcome back. Thank you, teacher. Happy, happy, very happy. <laughs> to be here, that's good. We are happy to, to have you back, all right? Thank you. Hold on. All right, so welcome everyone. Welcome <coughs> aboard. Miss right. Margarita. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Hola, Nayansi. Qué gusto Nancy. verla. Gracias, gracias. Nos andaba de parranda, dicen. Sí, en el, ahí en, la, en el tunco. Sí, en el tunco. Y, y en serio, que andaba bien perdida. Hija pródiga. Ay, sí. Estoy súper, súper contenta de haber... Espero que esté todo el grupo. Bueno, sobrevivientes, la mayoría. <laughs> <laughs> right, Miss Array. Survivors. Hello. Hello. Good evening. No sé por qué se mira así todo con brillo. Bienvenida, Nayansi, nuevamente. Gracias. <laughs> De verdad. Súper, súper gracias. <laughs> Me hacían falta todos los compañeros. En el otro grupo me sentía así como pollito. Se sentía como el patito. Feo. <risa> Algo así. But things got your back. Things got your back over here. Miss Susana Hernandez, good to see you. All right. Hi, everybody. No, good evening. Yeah. Good evening. That's okay. Cayó bien, verdad? Descansar una semana, right? It was good, you know, to rest one week. It was great. All right. Mr. Luis Armando. Hello, sir. Hello, teacher. Or, I have I have also uh, familiar faces and uh, some new faces. Well, todavía no se han mostrado las caras nuevas, verdad? Pero <laughs> I haven't seen them yet, right? <laughs> but that's that's the idea. All right, so let's start with this. That's what you're here for, right? Para eso hemos venido, para practicar. I don't know why, but there's a lot of lights. I don't know what's going on with the camera over here. Uh, but my image is not very good. Let's see if I if I can fix it in a second. Vamos a ver si puedo arreglar la, la imagen. Uh, just one second. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to share the screen like this. 
So welcome aboard everyone. Right now it's 8.03. And uh, welcome to English para el trabajo, the INSAFOR program. And our family at English Corporativo says, welcome aboard. Welcome to module four. This module will run from May the 24th to June the 21st. And there are very interesting topics to cover in this class. And as, as usual, I'm here to help you, to guide you through. And even better, it, I'm here um, as a companion, right? You don't have to see me as a teacher, more like a helper or a facilitator. And the best thing is that you have each other to help, all right? Así que lo que se trata es de ayudarnos mutuamente. In the house, I have Mr. Miguel Antonio Jimenez. Haciendo un regreso, ¿verdad? Ana Yancy Rivas de Rodríguez. Miss Dolores Saray. I'm just getting the list over here, the attendance. I also have Elizabeth, but I will have to, uh, I'm going to ask you to write your complete name. Uh, or at least your first and last name. So Elizabeth, could you write your uh, last name? Um, I also have Karina Elizabeth Villeda, Mr. Luis Armando Leiva, Ms. Susana Hernandez, Ms. Susana Margarita Portillo. Quizás no le ha llegado la factura todavía a nosotros, ¿verdad? Lo que nos ayudó la vez pasada. <laughs> you helped us a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens in there. I also have Mr. Tony Cabrera. Mr. Tony quería la semana pasada, lo voy a echar de cabeza, ¿verdad? Estaba ahí conectado. Sí, ya ya comenzó desde... <laughs> last week. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Yes. <laughs> you were ready since last week, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready since last week. A usted no nos quería dar nada de descanso, ¿verdad? Lo tomó bien a pecho. <laughs> es que me dijeron siete. Yo siete estaba listo. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's what I thought, right? That's what I believe. I also have Miss Vanessa Zergura, who is a new student for our class, and Miss Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Okay, 13 participants in there. So module four, you may write this down. We start today and we close it beautifully on June the 21st. Comenzamos este día and we finish on the 21st. I will emphasize on this, right? Because it has to do with the platform or whatever we do in this class. There's going to be a holiday, a sueto, in between our module, and is the last week, all right? Father's Day, for aquellos que nos hacemos llamar o que nos hacen llamar padres, <laughs> all right? So it's going to be a day off on the 17th, right? Which is a Thursday. So la última semana va a ser a sueto, un día, entonces por eso es que terminamos on June the 21st. Y si usted revisa... Uh, if you check the calendar, that is a Monday. Entonces comenzamos un, un lunes, we start a Monday and we close a Monday, the June the 21st. Si usted le gusta llevar sus cuentas, verdad, entonces así comenzamos. We start that way, all right? Nice. So uh, I need to remind you of this, the three uh, requirements for you to approve this module. Number one, 80% of your attendance or above, your uh, completion or performance of the platform, which is 80% or above, uh, homework assignments. And the last but not least is the satisfaction survey. It needs to be complete, correct, and done the last date of classes. Entonces, la encuesta la hacemos el 21 de junio, y eso lo quiero enfatizar. The satisfaction survey needs to be completed in class, on June the 21st, ¿verdad? Me estoy adelantando demasiado, ¿verdad? Pero igual, por si usted tiene la duda. Another important thing that I need to remind you of is the following, is the one-on-one -on -one sessions. By the end of this class, I will have Mr. Luis Armando Leiva on a one-on-one -on -one session at 10 p.m., all right? Tomorrow, I have you, Mr. Tony, on, on Tuesday, Miss Claudia Lorena is on Wednesday, and then Miss Zulma Gonzalez on Thursday. Mr. Francisco Rodriguez is on Friday. 
and I will share with you a PDF with all the dates and the people assigned on the one on one sessions. In that way, we might change dates. Entonces, vamos a tener los one on one sessions como siempre, verdad? Ya es tradición. Eh, gracias a Dios, verdad? Y el trámite que se hizo en inglés corporativo. Ya no, ya no nos reunimos los días miércoles. Esperamos hasta una hora, verdad? Para tener la sesión. Entonces, ya de hace como un mes o dos meses, es todos los días, son diez minutos. Lo que les decía es que les voy a compartir un PDF completo de sus nombres para que usted ya lo agende y ya diga tal día me toca. All right. I think it's going to be better over there. And also, I promise that every single night, when I say goodbye, everyone, have a great night, and, and I stay just with one participant, right after the one on one sessions, I'll be sharing with you a. Um, the class as a PDF. Creo que el formato para compartir es la clase es mejor después de cada clase. Así usted tiene un PDF y va armando su clase. Para no adelantarme ni acortar que de repente se nos van quedando como diapositivas o, o nos vamos a confundir. All right. My, I would say my promise with you as an English uh, teaching professional is to innovate, ¿verdad? Entonces, el reto que yo tengo, so the challenge is to innovate, right? To innovate, ¿ok? Así como los payasos, ¿verdad? Que sacan una cosa de la manga, del otro, así, ¿verdad? Entonces, <laughs> or like a magician, I would say, ¿verdad? Suena mejor decir mago. <laughs> nice. So, we will start with the following, my friend. Teacher, yes, I sir? have a question. Go ahead, sir. Uh, this is my first time. Uh, yeah. I... Eh, bueno, en español quizás porque algunas cosas así no las, no las veo muy bien. Eh, la parte esta de one-on-one one on one session, uh -huh. eh, ¿cómo es? Porque es la primera vez que participo en esta. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Gracias. Eh, vaya, todos los días, so, somos 20 participantes en promedio. Entonces todos los días las clases van de las 8 hasta las 10 de la noche, ¿verdad? Todos estamos acá. A partir de las 10 de la noche yo le voy a decir salud, Lulu, <ríe> a todos, excepto a uno. El que esté agendado, ¿verdad? Uh, así me dieron a mí la, la, la cuestión de la programación. Por ejemplo, digamos que usted está el siguiente lunes, que ya es el 31 de, de mayo. Este, digamos que si está usted agendado, usted se va a quedar 10 minutos conmigo. ¿Ok? Entonces tengo que okay. darle feedback, no sé, prácticas, alguna consulta, alguna queja, no sé, un, un refund, reembolso, <risa> cualquier cosa. <risa> We can practice that, sir. So that's the dynamic of the one-on-one -on -one sessions. All right? Okay, thanks. You're welcome, sir. Um, okay. But I, I will be giving you remind, reminders, right? Lo que yo les, lo, no les prometo, sino que sí va a pasar, ¿verdad? Esperemos. Eh, cuando te finalice la clase, yo le puedo compartir dos cosas. El PDF de la clase y la programación de los one-on-one -on -one sessions. Usted ya lo va a tener a mano para que lo agende, lo guarde, so let's begin with the class because that's what you're here for. All right. Um, so the first activity that I have prepared for you is matching vocabulary. And we're going to do this blindfolded. Vamos a hacer a ciegas o a lo choco, como dicen por ahí. Uh, the words are storage. Right now, just practice the pronunciation, please, with your microphone off. Vamos a ponernos las pilas. Por lo menos por ser la primera semana, ¿verdad? Y venimos descansaditos. Por lo menos de, de, de la noche, no del trabajo, ¿verdad? We're going to practice the, the pronunciation right now. So take a look at what I have on the screens, on, my, on your left of your screen, and let's try to practice. Practiquemos la pronunciación de estas ocho palabras, creo que son. Storage, dimensions, battery life, price, warranty, Function, size, and weight. One more time. Storage, dimensions, battery life, price, warranty, warranty, function, size, weight. Ahora vamos a sonar como cassette rayado. Storage, storage, storage. Dimensions, dimensions, dimensions. Battery life. Battery life, price, price. Esa P tiene que ser explosiva. All right, no tiene que ser como price, price, no. Put your palm of your hand in front of your um, mouth 
y diga la P, ¿verdad? P, 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 ¿verdad? Price, price. Get used to that, pues hay que acostumbras. Warranty, warranty. La A es una O al principio y luego la R, la A al segunda, eh, no se pronuncia en sí, sino que la R. Warranty, warranty, warranty. Igual la T tiene que ser explosiva, ¿verdad? T, T, T. ¿Verdad? Ese le va a dar el acento. Según mi experiencia, ¿verdad? Basta experiencia. Mentira. La T, la P y la R le dan el acento a usted en el inglés. Lo demás viene por añadidura. ¿All right? Entonces, si se lo digo, no es lo mismo decir niña, chica, decirlo marcado como girl, que decir girl, girl. Escucha la diferencia. Le digo girl, bien marcado, españolizado, pero voy a decir girl, girl. ¿Verdad? La R así como bien enrollada. ¿Verdad? Or car, car. No lo mismo decir car que decir car. You listen to that? Car, más o menos, pero de ahí car, ya sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, igual, eh, tomato, t, 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 right? Warranty, function, size, weight, all right? Now, let's say everything uh, very fast, everything at once. Storage, dimensions, battery life, price, warranty, function, size, and weight. Digámoslo, por favor. Say it, please, with your microphone off. Um, al final uno va a terminar bien cansado, right? O tirando saliva. If you have somebody next to you, pongámonos la mascarilla. <laughs> All right, it happens. Be careful. So now I will help you with... Um, the meaning of this, right? I won't help you match this. No les ayudo a emparejar, verdad? Pero sí les voy a dar a traducir, digamos. All right? The amount of money for which something is sold, verdad? La cantidad de dinero por lo que algo es vendido. All right? The length of time a device can continue to work before it needs its battery to be recharged. This equals to have more power put into it. Que estoy diciendo acá, ¿verdad? La cantidad de tiempo que un aparato funciona, digamos, sin recargarse. No hago una traducción literal, sino que más o menos interpretación. So that's what I do, to interpret. The next one, how large or small something or some, someone is, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tan largo o qué tan grande algo o alguien es? The next one, the amount that something or someone weighs or something, aquí me equivoqué. Uh, la cantidad que algo pesa o alguien pesa, ¿verdad? Eh, the act of keeping things, the next one, the act of keeping things somewhere so that they can be used later, especially goods or energy supplies. El acto de poner algo en un lugar por ahí para ocuparlo más tarde. Puede ser uh, servicios, energía, ¿verdad? Entonces, todo eso. Eh, next one, sorry. Practical use or purpose in design. All right. Uh, el uso o el propósito de que algo esté hecho, ¿verdad? Entonces, o diseñado. The next one. A written promise from a company to repair or replace a product that develops a fault within a particular period of time. Esa promesa que ustedes le dan por escrito, de, de, de que le van a devolver, ¿verdad? No voy a decirlo robado porque esa es política. <laughs> All right. That's something else, gentlemen. All right. Lo que usted le han vendido, ¿verdad? Es la promesa escrita, ¿verdad? Que si sale defectuoso, le van a dar un reembolso. Eh, a measurement of something in particular direction, especially its height, length, or, or width. All right. Um, la medida de algo, ¿verdad? Particularmente su dirección, especialmente la altura, la longitud, ¿verdad? Y lo ancho. So those are the words I have. Uh, let me ask somebody in here. Okay, I'm going to be choosing three victims, I would say. ¿Verdad? Si yo las elijo son victims, all right? <laughs> or, or my, my um, guests. And if you participate, you are volunteers. Okay? You're just going to help me practice this. Let's practice the pronunciation right now. Practicamos un poquito la pronunciación de, la, de las palabritas que están ahí en colores. All right? Um, I'm going to go with the numbers I have over here. Mr. Just to learn your names. Vamos a agarrarlo como cuando uno va a los trabajos, ¿verdad? Con los nuevos. 
Yes, get him over here. I'm going to learn your names, all right? So that's what I promise. Uh, Mr. Miguel Jimenez, would you help me practice the words over here, please, sir? Your microphone is muted, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, again, storage, dimension, battery life, price, warranty, function, size, weight. That was perfect. Thank you. Okay. That was good. All right. So, um, could you tell me a number, Mr. Miguel, from 1 to 20? 20. Okay, the last one will be there. And that is Miss Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Would you would you do the same, please? Uh, practice the words, please. Okay. The storage, dimension, battery life, price, warranty, function, size, and weight. That was great. So would you help us with a number, please, from 1 to 19? Right. Yeah, tell me a number, please, from one to nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, ten. Number ten. Let's see. Uh, como lo hacían en la escuela, verdad? De arriba o para abajo, de abajo para mentira. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mr. Francisco Rodriguez, help us, please, sir, with the pronunciation. Uh. Welcome storage, back. dimensions, battery life, price, warranty, function, size, and weight. Wait. Very good. Very good, sir. Welcome back, sir. Ah, gracias, chef. Contento yes. de estar de nuevo con ustedes. Yeah. Too, sir. All right. So now let's get to practice. All right. Let's get to practice. I will share with you. Y las palabras clave, ¿verdad? Para que no nos bajen el canal es material, ¿verdad? Si les mando un enlace, material. Ok. Y si comparten pantalla, if you share screen, vamos a borrarle la dirección web o la famosa URL. All right. Y ya tenemos, quiero ver, con algunos tres meses, con otros tenemos cuatro meses de venir trabajando así. And we haven't had any issues. No hemos tenido ningún problema. Ok. Eh, hold on, please. Let me, let me find this thing very quickly. So far, any questions for me? Any questions, my friends, right now? No questions? Let me stop sharing this screen. No questions at all over here? No, all right, so we're good now, okay. Yes, I, yes, I have a question. Go ahead, sir. Eh, este, no le entendí lo de quitarle la URL, no entendí eso. Vale, le voy a Cuando mande un link, algo así. Sí, vaya. Eh, Voy a ir con, con esto para no meterme en problemas. Lo que pasa es que nosotros Insafor nos regula un montón para cuestiones de terceros, ¿verdad? Derechos de autor. Entonces, si yo le comparto un material por acatar esas, esas indicaciones, cuando yo le mande un enlace, ya sea que ese enlace esté abierto y no nos cobren o sea gratis, lo hacemos por cuestiones de seguridad y por seguir lineamientos. Vamos a borrar esto. No sé si alcanza a ver mi, mi pantalla. Sí, veo la pantalla. Ok, entonces lo que está acá, ¿verdad? En, en, si fuera una, un, un, dice aquí shop, shop, Shopping for the Day. Esa es una página web. Igual donde tengo aquí que es un diccionario que dice Products English Spanish y tengo My Gmail y tengo la otra plataforma que vamos a ocupar. Entonces digamos que usted se va a la plataforma esta que es gratis, usted crea sus propias actividades, no pasa nada. Entonces lo primero que vamos a hacer es borrarlo. Así nos va a quedar la costumbre de que cuando le mande yo a un sitio que en realidad no tendríamos que ocupar, aunque es, es, es educativo si se puede, vamos a hacer esto que hice ahorita, borrar la dirección. Ok. Uh -huh. That's what we do over there. All right. Thank you. So what I'm going to do for you right now is share this with you, as you see here. Ok. And uh, let me just one second over here. I want to stop sharing this. So right now we're going to complete this exercise. 
but I will share with you the material or the link. All right. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer en estos instantes. Así que permítanme, vamos a accesar acá. And hold on. All right. All right, so I'm sending this to you as I'm speaking right now, so we don't waste time. All right, I have this ready. Okay, so the link has been sent to you or the material, all right? Now open it up. Once you open that up, it's going to take you to the following. I'm going to exemplify it for you. Vamos a ejemplificarlo para ustedes. All right, if you're new, if you are new in this class. Es un juguetito, ¿verdad? Que encontré hace como un par de meses. Y, all right. So if you click on the link I just shared with you or the material, it's going to take you to this place, all right? First thing is, borramos, erase the URL, right? Or the address in there. Enter your name. In that case, my name is Jose. And I'm going to start this already. I click on the store. And then verify that everything is okay. Read the instructions. Leamos las indicaciones. It says drag and drop each keyword next to its definition. Click on the store. Don't worry about the time. Okay. What you do is you drag. Arrastramos. All right. That's what you do. And just pray. Verdad. Rezamos. So you cross your fingers and see if everything is correct. And then you continue. And then you click where it says submit the answers. Enviamos las respuestas. So that's what we do. Automatically, once you do it, I'm going to get the response from you. All right? Entonces, yo voy a recibir las respuestas, eh, su score y todo eso. Pero adicionalmente, eso solamente aclarando, una captura de pantalla, screenshot, and share with me your score. All right? In the chat, please. Do we have a, a common understanding on this one, my friends? This is individually, by the way. Es una práctica individual que hacemos. Cuando usted lo hace, le saque screenshot al, al score. It's going to tell you seven out of eight, eight out of eight. Get a screenshot and share it in the chat. Lo vamos a compartir, verdad? Es, este es opcional. Lo va a compartir usted en el chat de que dice G9C P405 2021. And that one, All right? We're good. Yes, Mr. Mr. Miguel Jimenez. Yes, I have the link and and the instructions. All right, so get to work, please. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, we have like two minutes or less, please. All right, so we have until 8.30, right? Three more minutes on this one. Mr. Edwin Flash, you know, your, your second name is Flash, right? <laughs> I see that. You sure? <laughs> yes, sir. Eh, voy a hacer el cambio de, del teléfono a la compu. Ya pude, o ya logré encenderla. Estaba con unas actualizaciones para estar All más right. cómoda. That's okay. Me voy a salir y luego vuelvo nuevamente. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Cool. All right, you also miss Hernandez. Your second name is Flash, right? Because <laughs> that's what I have. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, two more minutes just to make honor of the time. If you already finished, what you can be doing with your microphone off is 
practice the sentences over there. No está de más practicar, ¿verdad? Ahorita que tenemos dos horas. In this module, my friends, uh, I will speak more English and, and you will speak more English. All right, I promise you that. Vamos a hacer el esfuerzo de hablar más inglés que español. Right? And that's what you're here for. Por eso estamos acá. One more minute. Keep in mind that it, uh, sharing your scores is optional. Okay, so time is up. Now, eh, the last one that helped us was Mr. Francisco. Sir, eh, could you give me a number from one to 15, please? Mr. Francisco, I don't think he's around, right? Um, all right, let me say hello to, uh, uh, all right. Uh, numero, sería el, el, el tres. Number three, all right, thank you. Uh, Mr. No, no, in that case is Anna Yancy, all right. Miss Anna Yancy. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> hello. All right, would you help us with the first one? A battery life, please. Estaba buscando en el cuaderno en el teléfono. Creo que es number four. No, no muy segura. Ah, no, 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 no. Es que ahí están de un modo y aquí en el cual me apareció de otro. Yes. Es para que no nos copiamos, por eso parece distinto. Sí, ya vi que sí. <risa> sí. Uh, It has to do with, with, con un aparato, with a device y con recargar, with, with recharging something. Um, en la number, number six. Seven, uh, one, seven, two, three, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. This one. Are you sure? <laughs> no. Right. Um. What do you do, Nancy, when uh, when a uh, cell phone uh, runs out of battery? ¿Qué hacemos cuando ya no tiene batería? Recargar. Uh, can you see between seven and eight a word that is similar as recharge? Mira alguna palabra que le da esa pista. Can you see a clue on number seven or number eight? En la última. Okay, so, la right. Yes, battery, battery life is that one. ¿Verdad? Recargar un aparato cuando ya se les acaba. That's battery life. Oh, el, el. En ese caso, battery life es lo que dura, ¿verdad? Eh, un aparato sin recargarse. Ok. Thank you so much. Now, uh, just mute your microphone, please. Thank you. You're welcome. So, eh, Nancy, give us a number, please, very quickly, from 1 to 10, please. Uh, price? Yeah, no. Tell me a number, please, from 1 to 10. Yeah. Uh, Sarai. Okay. <laughs> ah, pues fue de dazo, entonces. <laughs> All right, so, Ms. Sarai, would you help us? Hold on, please. I'm just going to mute your microphone. Um, eh, silencio. O como dicen allá en, por mi casa, silencio. ¿verdad? Entonces. Um, all right, so, Ms. Ms. Sarai, would you help us, please? Price. Price. Me sorry. Your, your mic is off. Price.
Ok, uh, el, uh, entonces vamos a elegir a, a Amiga del Alma. Uh, Miss Claudia Enriquez, please. Would you help us? Price, a written promise, the act of keeping things, the amount of something or something weights, the amount of money for which something is sold, practical use, a measurement. Number four. Number four. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, I'm going to choose right now. Miss Evelyn Caballero, please. Function, please. Casi no le escucho a tu cual. Uh, function. 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 Yeah. Can uh, see practical use or for pause in dancing? Correct. You got it. Thank you so much, Miss Miss Evelyn. Um, let's see over here. Miss Sonia Lasso, please help us. The next one, dimensions, please. ¿Cuál me dijo? Uh, dimensions. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Mantle something or something. Weights, the act of keeping things somewhere. Uh, written promise. A measurement or something in a particular direction. Uh, how large or small something or someone else? It is a how large or small something or someone is? Uh, almost, right? Almost. Look up. Un poquito más arriba. Look up. Okay. Yeah, dimensions, it's you know, in, in, in any uh, direction in there. Lo alto, okay. lo bajo, lo ancho. You see height, length, and width in there. Okay. okay. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Caesar, would you help us with storage, right? Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Yeah, I, I can hear you, but I guess it's either my internet or yours that the one that's failing. No sé si mi internet o el suyo, pero se le escucha un poquito cortado. Can we try now, please? Intentemos ahorita, por favor. All right, so storage, please. Guardar, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Is la primera a right promise? Mm, no, not really. Um, what about number two? Uh, the uh, act of keeping memory so that they can be used in letters, especially good or energy supplies. Correct. Uh, the thing is that storage can be almacenaje or it could be almacenar. But in this case, it's the verb, all right? Storage something. Okay? Okay. All right. So it could be a verb and also a noun. Puede ser el acto de ¿verdad? almacenar. Like, for example, a computer has some storage or you store or you storage, storage um, information in the, in the computer. In there. Okay. Okay. All right, so thank you, sir. So Miss Vanessa Segura, would you help us with the, the next one, please? Wait, wait. Uh, the amount that something or someone wait, something. Correct, correct. The amount that something or someone waits, el peso, right? Wait. All right. Um, just one thing. El verbo is way sin la, sin la um, T, without the T. Verdad, y la palabra en sí, peso es con una T. Wait. All right. 
That's why we say weights like that. Okay. And then we have the last two. Warranty. We have warranty over here. Um, warranty is a fierce teacher. Uh, correct. All right. And the last one, of course, is size. How large or, or, or small something or someone else. Thank you, Mr. Tony. Let's click on this one. And of course, we got everything correct over there. All right? We got everything correct. Nice. So we're doing this because in this unit, we will talk about purchasing and storing. And you will have to describe different features about the products that you or someone else were, were place purchase. Uh, este vocabulario está relacionado con la compra, ¿verdad? Y la cuestión de almacenaje, ¿verdad? En una empresa. So that's why. Okay? So that's why. Now, the next thing we will do right now is a conversation. Okay? It's a conversation. So I'm going to stop sharing this and then we will practice. All right? Pongamos el vocabulario por ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, la idea no es que usted solo aprenda en este instante, pero por lo menos se familiarice, ¿verdad? That's the point over there. Okay. And let me just open that conversation right now and share it with you. Hold on, please. Let me send it to you as I'm speaking. Second thing for the night. It's a conversation that you're going to listen to individually and then share with me the score. Si ustedes se fijan, ¿verdad? Vamos a acostumbrarnos a la dinámica de que we practice uh, individually, share the answers with me, and then you practice in purse. La práctica primero es individual y luego en pareja. All right? So I'm sharing the screen with you. Let's see if it went through. There you go. Let me know, please, if the uh, link is working. All right? Perdón por, por la luz, no sé por qué la cámara está como bien brilloso esto. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Hold on, please. All right, so I'm sharing the screen right now. Eh, Por cuestiones ilustrativas, vamos a hacerlo acá. Uh, este es el, 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 como el cover page. You scroll down. And you're going to get to the part that says uh, listening script, back to easy quizzes, the level, topic, speakers, and the length. Aquí están como los detalles de, 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 la, de, de la conversación. Level is easy, uh, fácil, digamos. Topic is shopping malls. Speakers, it's a man and a girl. Length, one and ten. One minute and, and 10 seconds. Uh, let's get familiar with this. What I always tell you is like, get familiar with the vocabulary and what the listening is about. Siempre yo enfatizo, familiarícese con el vocabulario y con lo que se va a tratar el audio, ¿verdad? Entonces, in this case, it's shopping, right? I'm going to ask a volunteer, please, that can help me read what I'm highlighting. Un voluntario que, que nos ayude, por favor. Just read this person. Me, teacher. Uh, okay, so we're going to divide it. Uh, let's see, uh, women first, and then Mr. Tony. Entonces, um, over here. I think it was Elizabeth, right? Okay. Pre listening exercise. Shopping online or gracias teacher. All right. Shopping online or at local department. The store is an activity many people enjoy. Who often do you go shopping for the following items and where do you buy them? Clothing gifts for friends and fam family. Music, DVD, movies, electronics. Okay. Continue, please. Uh, until here. Audience. Kirions. Mm -hmm. Say for a rainy day. Say something for the future when is I am needed. 
instead of spending money on a new TV, I am going to say it for a rainy, rainy day. You never know when you need, need it. All right. Thank you so much. So now, Mr. Tony, please appreciate your participation, uh, Ms. Elizabeth. All right. Thank you. All right. Mr. Tony, please, would you help us? Um, I don't. Yes, correct. I don't. Uh, don't. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. A dozen, very common, usually inexpensive, and easy to find. And bought my dad a new watch at Flea Maker Market. Mm -hmm. And I told I go a great deal only to discover they were a dime or, or dance at their place. At other places over there. Okay, thank you so much, sir. So um, just to help you with the meaning of this, so shopping online at a local department stores is an activity many people enjoy, ¿verdad? Entonces, cual, la gran mayoría de personas o quizás, no sé, hombres y mujeres, uh, uh, tenemos que hacer esto, ¿verdad? Esta actividad, o quizás la disfruten. So how often do you go shopping for the following items, ¿verdad? ¿Con qué frecuencia usted va de compras? And, and where do you buy them, ¿verdad? Y a dónde los compras, o dónde los compras. Clothing, gifts for friends and family, music, DVD, movies, and electronics. Su ropa, regalos para amigos o familia, música. Maybe you don't buy music anymore, right? Nobody buys music. I don't know. DVD, movies, and electronics. Uh, nobody buys uh, movies anymore, I would say. In electronics, yes, like uh, USBs, cell phones, computers, you know, laptops, um, earphones, etc. Okay, um, so this is the introduction for the listening, ¿verdad? Esta es la introducción. And if I were you, I would answer these two questions, ¿verdad? Para cuestión de práctica, podríamos responder esta, esta pregunta. How often uh, do you go shopping for the following items? Y usted puede poner never, twice a year, uh, once a month. Uh, you can do this practice in your novel, right? Nunca está de más practicar un poquito más, ¿verdad? O para mantenernos despiertos. And then idioms, just so you know, idiom is, it's a word like, like doesn't have a literal meaning, como un dicho, algo caliche, ¿verdad? Entonces, un poquito más informal. Save for a rainy day significa ahorrar, ¿verdad? Cuando tenga necesidad, ¿verdad? O cuando eh, necesite, ¿verdad? Cuando ande corto de dinero o para los malos tiempos. Save something for the future when it's needed. All right, eso significa. Entonces, Instead of spending money on a new TV, ¿verdad? En lugar de gastar dinero en una nueva televisión, I'm going to save it for a rainy day. Lo va a ahorrar, ¿verdad? Cuando lo necesite, cuando... And, como dijéramos nosotros, cuando esté acabado, ¿verdad? When you don't have money, ¿ok? Ese es el caliche, de hecho, es la traducción literal. That's it, the literal translation. You never know when you'll need it, but nunca sabe cuándo lo va a necesitar. A dime a dozen is very common, usually inexpensive or easy to find. Algo bien fácil que de encontrar, ¿verdad? Uh, si alguien tiene quizás la traducción esto, ¿verdad? Al caliche salvadoreño, I would appreciate if you share it with the class, ¿verdad? Si lo comparte con la clase. For example, I bought my dad a new watch at a flea market. Le compré a mi papá un nuevo reloj, ¿verdad? En un mercado de pulgas, flea market, así como el que está cerca de las tres torres, ¿verdad? No brands, ¿all right? En San Salvador. And I thought I got a great deal, but creí que es un gran, tat, un gran trato, un gran negocio, but I, I got a great deal. Only to discover they were at a dime dozen at other places. Solo para descubrir que habían cachada, ¿verdad? Afuera de, del mercado. All right. A dime, a dozen. That's a word. The idea, my friends, is not to learn this, but understand the meaning. And I guess, yo creo, I suppose that they will appear in this listening quiz. Creo que esto va a aparecer en este quiz, así que mejor familiarizarse con lo que dice ahí, ¿verdad? If you are new in this class, what, what uh, I'm going to do for everyone, I will play the listening. Um, oh, but I guess you have to do it, actually. El, el, el aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Es personal, ¿verdad? Pero también necesitamos de unos, unos a otros para aprender. Uh, a veces, entonces, you do this individually, please. It's a quiz. 
Eh, esto es interactivo, ¿verdad? Si usted nunca ha trabajado en esta plataforma, le da clic y le va a, de hecho, decir if this is wrong or this is good and it's going to give you the feedback. You continue with number two, number three, number four, and number five. Son números imaginarios, ¿verdad? Porque las, los ítems no tienen números. But I'm going to uh, ask one friend over here uh, that is going to help us. Miss um, Susana Hernandez, please. Would you help us with the questions and the possible options over there? Is the shopping before? All right. And the three options. Since for your father, much? Oh, no, no, tant. <laughs> <laughs> Is the black wallet? All right. Uh, forty forty nineteen. Así se pronuncia. Forty ninety five. Ah, forty ninety five. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Forty four ninety five. Correct. Or. 49 95 95 correct all right next one please why why doesn't the girl like the brown wallet okay too big and heavy she doesn't like the color there isn't a place to put pictures okay about how much does the girl have to spend ten dollars five dollars $13. $13, okay. Next one, please. What does the girl decide to buy? Mm -hmm. A tie, a brown belt, a black wallet. I appreciate your help. Okay, just one sec. I'm over here. Let me check my connection. All right, that's good. Okay, so as you can see uh, in here, sorry, let me just go back. Lo hizo grande, ¿verdad? Para que no se nos pierda. So what is the girl shopping for? Uh, present... Uh, for her mother, father, or friend. But no lo vamos a traducir porque esto creo que está un poquito más sencillo. Listen to this the first time without pay paying attention to the questions or the answers in there. All right? Mi recomendación, ¿verdad? Para esto, escúchelo solo por escucharlo y, y entender la idea principal. Just listen to get the main idea. And don't, don't worry about this. All right? Don't worry about the questions in there. Right now, just get familiar with the topic. Familiarizémonos con el tema, ¿verdad? All right? Do that, please. Second time you listen to this, take it as a quiz. La segunda vez, hágalo como que fuera un quiz, un laboratorio. All right? And just do that. And that's it. All right? You can listen to this like three times or more, pero creo que si lo escuchamos más de dos, dos veces, vamos a perder la esencia o la naturaleza del ejercicio. All right? So you do this individually. I will share the audio with you because I want you to have the best experience of, you know, with this. No les comparto el audio porque por el internet puede fallar, entonces mejor hago lo usted. Uh, let me stop sharing the screen. It's 8.52. Let me give you three minutes. All right. 8.55 or 8.56. All right. You start sharing with me your scores. Cuando lo haga, comparta captura de pantalla de su score, por favor, y lo manda al chat. All right, do that, please. Thank you. Any questions? No? All right, good, thanks.
All right, so one more minute. All right, so time is up. Time is up, so let's do this. Hold on. All right, so thank you everyone. You got five out of five, four out of five. That those are great numbers. Okay, nice. All right, so can I have a volunteer please that can help me with the answers over there so I can share them in the screen, please. Un voluntario que se anime, por favor. Me, teacher. Thank you, Flor, go ahead. I know it was gonna be you. Ya sabía que iba a ser usted, no de broma. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. Go ahead, please. Okay. What is the girl shopping for? Mm -hmm. uh, a present for the father. For the father, all right. Ya que viene el día del padre, verdad? <laughs> Mire, bien, bien, bien cronometrado esto, verdad? <laughs> yes. All right, nice. Okay, how much? Uh, how much is the black wallet? Uh, 49.5. Okay, correct. <laughs> correct. Uh, why does the girl like the brown wallet? Wow. Is there is a place to put pictures? There is a place to put pictures. Okay, nice. It says over here. Okay, next one. About how much does the girl have to spend? Is ten dollar. Ten dollars. All right, ten dollars. Okay. And the last one. What does the girl decided to buy? Mm -hmm. Teacher, esa no la conteste correcta. Okay, a tie is corbata. A, a brown belt is a cinturón o cincho, verdad, café, or a black wallet. A, or una billetera, verdad, negra. A tie, teacher. A tie, all right, it's a tie. Thank you so much, correct. And it says over here, and you have, well, let's just say the tie went on sale, verdad, estaba en rebaja. How about five? What do you say? Girl, Um. thanks, I'll take it. Okay, nice. It was It was the, the tie, uh, Miss Floor. okay. Nice, now what we're gonna do is, is the following in there. So, well, you have to scroll down, vamos a, a irnos a la parte inferior de la pantalla. And you have to get to the part where it says, see listening script, see listening script. Click on that one, y borramos la URL, verdad, el enlace. You go down in there, and there you have the conversation in there. So now what I'm going to do for you is to play the audio. You listen to the audio and you read this with your eyes to get familiar with the pronunciation. Vamos a dejar de compartir. Voy a reproducir el audio para todos. Lo escuchamos y usted con su vista va leyendo, ¿verdad? Y tratando de seguir la conversación. Okay. Please. Thank you. So here we go. 
All right, so listen to the recording on shopping malls and read along with the conversation. Eso significa read along, verdad? Lea, verdad? Con la conversación. Review the key vocabulary in the sample sentences. Ahí vamos a repasar. Here we go. One, two, three. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty five ninety nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm. How about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. Nice. That's a good conversation, by the way. All right, a good conversation. Nice. It's the little girl trying to buy a present for her father. Okay, and you have that she has a lot of uh, coins in there, right? Money falling on the table. Montón de moneda quiere comprar, verdad? But that's great. That's great. So now let's take a look at this. And with your microphone off, we're gonna try to practice this. Once we do this individually, I will send you to the breaker room so you can practice in person. Practicamos con el micrófono apagado uh, la, la parte del uh, papá o, de, o del vendedor y de la niña. All right. So um, you just try to follow uh, and repeat after me, please. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay. How about getting your father a new wallet? Mm, how much is that wallet? Mm, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety five. Hmm, that's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Mm, how about this brown leather one? Mm, I don't think my father will like the design on the outside, and it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty five ninety nine. Mm, I don't have that much money. Okay. How much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Uh, it's like a dinner, right? Money falling on the table. Probably about $10 or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Mm, how about this tie? That's really pretty, but the price tag says $13.99. And I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's say that the tie went on sale how about five dollars? What do you say? Okay, thanks. I'll take it. Me la llevo, ¿verdad? So, and that's the context in there. So now let me ask you, my friends, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or about the meaning of something? Consultas acerca del vocabulario o pronunciación? Speak now or practice in the breaker room? <laughs> yep. Any questions? No questions right now for me? All right, so you want to practice, I, I see that. All right, now I'm going to open the breaker rooms and please practice the girl and the man part in purse at least two times. Practiquemos aunque sea una dos veces, okay? With a partner over there, so just one second. <laughs> From the count of three, here we go. Um, one sec. Before I send you to practice uh, in here, I'm going to uh, ask you something. From now on, uh, you should practice with um, 
without reading too much. Vamos a practicar sin depender mucho del texto, ¿verdad? Levantar la vista cuando termine la pregunta o la oración. O si es una frase cortita, la va a decir, ¿verdad? Sin leer tanto. So, ok, the black one, it's only $40.95. Uh, uh, ok, that's too expensive. Vamos a hacer contacto visual, all right? Visual contact over there. And that way, your conversation will, will be more fluently, all right? Please promise that. Hay que hacer ese esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Uh, no sé, cognitivo o, o, o ese, ese eh, desafío, challenge, not to read too much, ¿verdad? Aunque sea la última palabra, ¿ok? You have to say it looking at your classmates in there. So I'm opening this right now. Go ahead, please. <coughs> And let me know, please, if you have any problems joining the breaker room, please. Y me hace saber si tiene alguna dificultad uniéndose a los breaker rooms, por favor. Thank you. Pero ya está de regreso, qué bueno. Sí. Vaya, entonces vamos a practicar. Este, no voy a poner la cámara porque se me está yendo el internet. Entonces, ah. esto con la cámara siento que se me tarda más. Sí, sí. Perdón, teacher. That's okay, don't worry about it. I know, I know it's you. Ya creo que le conozco la voz. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Somos es que he estado teniendo problemas de internet. Sí, sí, sí así he estado yo también. Pero don't worry about it. Sí. Disfrutemos que ya está la pandilla lista otra vez. Sí. <laughs> Pero faltan dos, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Fíjense que Raúl ya no Raúl va a seguir no. en este grupo. Ya no. No, 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 no lo escribió, no se inscribió, como se cambió de, de, de empresa. Sí, yo me recuerdo que el módulo pasado, yo no sé qué problema tenía con la empresa porque se había cambiado, algo así. No Ajá, no lo escribieron, entonces creo que ya no le dan ese beneficio. Eso pasó. Lástima, la verdad. ¿A dónde es que encuentro la conversación, Perné? Eh, ya, ya la mandé al chat también, también abajo. Ya la mandé al chat. Abajo. Gracias. Yes. Eh. Ah, sí, ahí está. There you go. Vale, vamos a borrar ahí el, la dirección. Link. Yes, tengo aquí. Ah, ok, comparte la suya entonces. Voy a dejar de compartir. Voy a intentar. Ay, oh, Dios. Vale, Nada. ya la tengo de nuevo si ¿sí? se le dificulta. No, dele usted entonces, porque a mí me probó esta chancha. A ver, casi se ve. No, la, no se ve la que yo compartí, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿cómo no? Ya se ve. Ya se ve. Va. Va, démosle entonces. Va, comience. Va, voy. How young lady? How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? 
Um, how much is that wallet? Um, which one? The black one. Oh, it is only forty ninety five. Um, that's what. We let you. We let you say the tea went on sale. How okay. about? It? How about fight? Uh, what do you say? Oh, thanks. I liked it. Okay. Take it. Take, take it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, don't. No, don't be afraid. Ya 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 Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for, for a Father's Day gift. Okay. How about giving your father a new wallet? Hmm. How much is that wallet? Mm, which one? The black one. Oh, it is only $40.95. Oh, that's too expensive for me. Do you have a sharper one? Sharper one. How about this brown leather one? Father, a new wallet. Mm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety five dollars. Oh, uh, that's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm. Ah, both this brown leather one. Mm, I don't think my father will like the design of, on the outside. And he doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's $25.99. Mm, I don't have that money. Okay. That much how, money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure, probably about $10 or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. And this is all I have. Mm. How about this tie? Ah, that's really pretty. But the price tag says $13.99. And I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I, I take it. Okay. Bueno, ya, ya pegamos una ronda y ahí salió un mensaje que tenemos dos minutos más, ¿verdad? Para sí. practicar. Sí, yes, sir. Correct. Sí, practicando, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí. Yes. Muy bien. Empezamos entonces con, con Corina. La misma. Yeah. Ok. Sería yo entonces the man, ¿verdad? Esa vez. Muy bien. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Oh, it's only the uh, forty nine five. Oh, that's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Mm, how about this brown leather one? I don't think my father will like the thing on the upside, upside and it doesn't have a black to put picture to match it anyway. Me escuchan. Yes. 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 Sí. Yes. Sí. Sí. Uh, Twenty-five ninety-nine. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't have that much money. Okay. How much money do you have to spend? I am not uh, sure. Money falling on the table. Probably about the dollar or so. I been helping my mom around the house for the past weekend week to earn some money this is all i have 
Mm, how about this guy? That's really pretty. Uh, but the price they say uh, this is 99 and it's no, I do not have that much money. All right. All right. All right so, welcome back, everyone. Um, I brought you back because. Um, you know, we had enough time to practice. Now, can I have uh, two volunteers, please, that can help us practice that conversation in front of everyone? Me, Ms. teacher. And I'm going to choose Miss Evelyn over here because those are the first two I saw. All right. So, las primeras que vi, entonces. So, <laughs> Biscova. Una está acá, los está aquí. <laughs> All right. Así como los camaleones. <laughs> Cabal, <bro. laughs> I see your point, but, but I saw your hand, Mr. Tony. All right. I saw your hand. You're going to help us in the next exercise. And also, Miss uh, Elizabeth. All right. Ahí está ya esperando. Thank you, Miss Karina uh, Villeda. You're, you are the salesperson, the man. And Miss Evelyn, you're the girl. Please. Okay. I'm, I'm going to okay. share the screen for you. Here we go. Okay. And hold on. Okay. All right. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hi, John Lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a father day gift. Yes. Okay. How about getting for your father a new wallet? Mm. How much is the wallet? Mm. Which one? That black one. Oh, it's only fourteen ninety-five dollars. Who does you expense it for me? Do you have a cheaper one? Mm, how about this brown leather one? Mm, I don't need my father wallet. The design on the use it and I doesn't I had a place to put picture how much is anyway. It's $25.99. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I am not sure. Money falling on the table, probably about the dollar or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to Earn some money, this is all have. Mm, how about this time? That's real pretty about the price that says il 12 and 99, and now I don't have that much, much money. Well, well. Let's you say that the time went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? How, how, oh, thanks. I take it. All right, thank you so much. Just to clarify some things, uh, let me just mute your microphone right now. Si algo está en venta es for sale. Right for sale, a regular price. Entonces, la, la corbata de time is thirteen ninety nine on sale, verdad? En venta regular. Pero en rebaja, perdón, perdón. En venta regular is for 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 sale. For sale. Está en venta. It's for sale. Si tiene un carro a venta, it's for sale. Si es una oferta al dos por uno, como sea, it's on sale. Okay. So that's the difference over there. Uh, that's why uh, the price tag says $13.99, but then the man says, uh, what if I, let's say, digamos, verdad? Digamos, let's say, let's just say, that solamente digamos, that the tie went on sale, verdad? Tuvieron una rebaja. How about $5? ¿Qué tal $5? What do you say? ¿Qué dices? Okay, the price, be careful. Una cosa es $14 y otra cosa es $40, verdad? $40. 40 es 40 y 14, así es la fuerza de voz, 14 
es 14, ¿verdad? Porque estamos en los años de la adolescencia. Teen, en los teen years, ¿verdad? Teen, for teen. ¿Ok? Pronunciación de, de billetera es wallet. Wallet, como una O. Wallet. ¿Ok? En pronunciación of diseño, design. Design. ¿Ok? And what else? Uh, place means lugar. Place. All right? Place. Um, any questions for me about the pronunciation, please? Or not? Or any doubts about the meaning? Does somebody have uh, any questions for me? Teacher. Thank you, Mr. Let's go ahead. What is the pronunciation of probably? Probably. Oh. Uh, probably. Probably. Oh. Probably. Probably. Thank you. You're welcome. It's probably. All right. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing this and let's go back to the uh, to the presentation because we haven't talked about the main topic today. Todavía no hemos abordado el tema el tema principal de esta noche. All right. One second, please. All right, so there we go. Don't worry about like the whole slide. No, no se preocupe la información que está acá demasiado. Uh, I will share with you uh, a present uh, PDF with information we covered tonight. Le voy a compartir al finalizar la clase, verdad? Un PDF con la clase, obviamente, verdad? Esta noche, material que cubramos. All right. So you may take notes of key words or key explanations. Anote si gusta la explicación o algo. Si le sirve, pero después esta información va a estar con, con usted. We're going to start with the following. On your right screen, en la parte derecha de su pantalla, on, your right, on the right uh, corner of your screen, we have some questions. All right? Sorry about it. Let me just go back. Okay. Hold on. There we go. In your notebooks, or in the WhatsApp chat, you need to answer the following, please. And this is optional, all right? How many friends do you have, all right? Without thinking too much. Could you write that down, please? How many friends do you have? 